A big thank you to GoDaddy for sponsoring this video. GoDaddy Managed WordPress Hosting is a great way to quickly create and host your WordPress site. Go to bit.ly forward slash jamiewp to get 30% off your managed WordPress hosting today. There are some huge updates coming to WordPress in 2024. Here are my top 10 picks. At the end is the best one. Let's get into it. The first one is really exciting. That is native support for custom fields. Here's a short video clip of Matthias Ventura talking at this year's State of the Word 2023 about what's coming. This has been the UI for custom fields for years now in WordPress. What we're going to have now is the ability to connect blocks to custom fields without having to create custom blocks. So essentially you can insert a heading or a paragraph and say, I want this to come from this other custom field. So then this becomes the, again, it's just a regular core block. The interactions for the user are extremely intuitive, but it's coming from this separate data field. It's not serialized back to the HTML. So this is a way to bridge the worlds between custom fields, which are very developer friendly and blocks, which are very user friendly. So in very simple terms, you're going to have the ability to natively create custom fields in WordPress, which you always could do, or use a plugin like ACF, and display that custom field information with no plugins whatsoever. The new font library will be a user-friendly tool that allows you to easily install, remove, and use different fonts on your website if you're using a block themes. It works independently of the theme you've chosen, a bit like the media library. This means that any font, whether added by you or included within a theme, can be selected and used anywhere on your site while editing. A few weeks ago, Matt Mullenweg, the co-founder of WordPress, announced a new initiative called the Data Liberation Front. This is really close to my heart. Essentially, it's gonna make data portability much, much easier into WordPress and out of WordPress and between page builders Here's a clip of Matt talking about it recently. And it's something I'm very, very excited about. Next year we're working on, we're calling it Data Liberation Front. One reason I think proprietary services have gotten a lot more popular mm -hmm. is they do subtle things to lock people in. Remember we talked about the messaging earlier? Yep. And some, some of the CMS spaces like Wix don't even provide an export. Mm -hmm. So they really, it's like a roach motel. You check in, you can't check out. So what we're doing with this data liberation front is creating an open source directory that provides two-way like import of all this data. So whether that's in an e-commerce, in another page builder, because there's all these different page builders for WordPress besides Gutenberg, mm -hmm. everything. And then once it's in WordPress, you can get it into anything else that you want because mm -hmm. WordPress is kind of universally supported our formats. We're also improving the WordPress to WordPress migration format. So we have an export, but it actually isn't great in that like it doesn't moving the files and the plugins and everything is still a pain in the butt. So we're going to make that really, really easy. And so my hope is by like radically lowering the friction, it'll help make the web kind of force everything to be a more, bit more open. In the upcoming WordPress 6.5 release, there will be enhancements to how templates and template parts are managed. You'll be able to see the history of changes for these elements. Additionally, there will be significant improvements in managing style revisions, including the ability to compare changes side by side. As part of the Gutenberg project, the WP Admin dashboard is getting a refresh, long overdue. Here's an early look on how some aspects of it might look. This is the data views that's being worked on at the moment. This is currently under discussion, so if you have any strong feelings about it, get involved in the project and give your feedback. Colorways are a cool new feature that will let you control the design of specific sections of your website in more detail. For now, it's mainly about adding color options for certain areas, like group blocks in this demo. The navigation block remains one of the weak points when you're building out block themes. It's still kind of hard to use and it's a bit limited, but Rich Table is working on a really cool prototype that lets you customize the overlay functionality. That is the mobile menu. Here's a short video of what he's up to. Hey there, just wanted to give a quick update of where we are with the navigation overlay um, based on the latest conversations that we had um, just a little bit ago. It's a quick summary. So here we are, we have the navigation over here. I'm gonna go to settings. I'm going to 
um, switch to mobile. Uh, but real quick, I, I removed some of the other uh, controls that were around here just so we can focus on what we have here. Uh, so don't don't mind that. Go to mobile. Uh, for mobile, now we can edit this overlay now that we have one. We hit edit. Now we are using the uh, core provided or or theme provided overlay. This is assuming I have 2024 active and, and it included a, a nice overlay with centered uh, menu items, something that's different from the uh, default. Um, a couple uh, concepts that we're thinking through here potentially uh, is the fact that we have a navigation overlay block. And in that overlay block, we have the close block that's included up here on the top right. We have the navigation that's uh, right now centered uh, within this overlay. This ref is the same as the one prior. I'll switch back to it. We have the same menu here. Uh, when I click on it, I can add items. I can then change the styles. Now over here, I'm just going to emulate changing of styles. I say I, I say I go in and change some styles throughout the uh, experience here. So I changed it to the background of black, foreground of white throughout. I can set some alignment. So I'm going to justify this to the left, and then I can go back. And now at this point, I have store added here as well because these menus are connected, and I have my overlay. Uh, designed like I want, um, and that is now the new default for my site because I just edited the themes provided template part. Collaboration is phase three of the Gutenberg project, and we already have a working prototype of some kind. Here's Matthias Ventura again, showing us what we've got. We have a we don't have a timeline yet for this, but the, we do have an actual working. A prototype of real-time collaboration in the editor. It's a pretty interesting flow because it's, it's doing some peer-to-peer. -peer. Um, it's establishing a sync engine into WordPress so you can have this side-by-side. -side. And as you're seeing, like again, you update an image, it gets reflected for everyone on the session as soon as it gets updated. You can test this today if you install the Gutenberg plugin. You need to enable the lib collaboration. It's going to be buggy but we want to get as much feedback as possible so that we can figure out like how viable this uh, this approach is. And now on to what I think is the most exciting update coming to WordPress in 2024, and those are pattern overrides. Let me explain. So at the moment, we have two types of patterns that you can create, synced, completely synced like this here. So you create your pattern in Gutenberg, and you use that in your different pages and posts, and they're synced. So if you make a change to any of these, every single instance of where that pattern has been used changes. The other type of pattern you can create is called unsynced. In an unsynced pattern, this happens. You create your pattern as you normally would centrally, and then reuse it on your pages and posts, but there's no bi-directional link between the two. So you can make changes here, but once you make the changes, because they're unsynced, there's no link between the global. So if you want to change all the stars, for example, of all the patterns on your sites, maybe you want to change the backgrounds to green, you can't do it because they're completely unsynced. Pattern overrides let you have a lovely hybrid between these two. So in the brand new exciting world of pattern overrides, we'll be able to make changes in the future to our patterns because they're synced, but decide which elements of those patterns we can actually override. We don't have to override the entire pattern. So in my simple head, this is a really elegant way of abstracting what you'd normally have to do using global CSS styles. We can now do it natively within the Gutenberg block editor. So it's so much easier for end users to customize and maintain their sites because WordPress is doing the abstraction for them. There is also gonna be a big focus on performance again this year and some of the page speeds improvements we're already seeing just with using the Gutenberg block editor are fantastic, so keep your eye on those. And this is just the tip of the iceberg of the cool stuff that's heading our way. So if you do want to keep in touch, hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified every time I release a new video. If you enjoyed this one, please, 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 if you could hit that like button now, it would be amazing because it makes a huge, huge, huge difference in terms of how many people get to see this video. And also, every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. <laughs>